Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. Several videos have already been uploaded in this particular series and I hope those videos were helpful. Today we will be working with 3D geometry. I will try to develop a geometry like this and I will tell you how to develop this kind of geometry step by step. There are multiple options by which you can tackle your 3D geometry. So we will be talking about all this in separate videos. But today we will be solely focusing on how to create this kind of geometry in a easy manner. So that is our target. So without further delay, let me go and build the model. So I will take 3D geometry. I don't take any physics because I'll be working with geometry only. Before I start developing the object I, I have shown, let me tell you, if you just right click on geometry, you will get some primitive geometries or primitive options like block, cone, cylinder, sphere. So you can actually select those things to create your simple geometry. If you want to create a parallel pipe, if you want to create a cylinder so easily you can choose those options and you can put the dimensions and you can do it so all these things are very trivial and that's why i am not going in details today i will be introducing you with the concept of work plane so basically now we are at 3d so how will you understand because in the component option if you see there are multiple symbols in 3d if you, if you 3D, if it is 3D, then you will see this symbol. If it is 2D axisymmetric, you will be given with this symbol. So as you see, this is a 3D. And in the geometry, if you right click, as it is 3D, you will be getting all these options. Today, I will be telling you how to use work plane. So after right clicking, you will see an option work plane. And if you click there, you will see options of having different planes so by default i am in the xy plane so you can just change the working plane i'll tell you why exactly you need to change so let me uh, just work with xy plane only but the thing is i just wanted to let you know that you can change your work plane because in a three-dimensional space you can visualize different planes and you can you can choose to work with all those planes and the options are available. So again, I'm telling uh, we'll be working with XY plane for the time being. So if you go to, I mean, if you take work plane under this option, you will get plane geometry. Now in this plane geometry, you'll be having all those options which were there in the 2D geometry and we had an extensive session on 2D geometry and you know how to utilize 2D geometry. So we'll be using those concepts here. So I have to build the model I have shown. So for that, if I just go back and see, you can see there is a rectangular, I mean, basement on which those pillars and this one is kept. This is a kind of tank and this is kind of multiple pillars. So let me just go back. Yes. And initially I tried to have this square, say one meter. So this is the basement kind. And then let me choose two circles. So circle one, let us put the dimension of the circle, say, 0.3 and 0.3 I click on oh, this is this is center basically so I have to choose it 0 0.5 0 0.5 and radius I choose 0 0.2 yeah this is good I duplicate the circle and I have to take another circle inside this one because then only I can have this annular section. So let me make it 0.1 per se. 
yes this is done now what i need to do is i need to have multiple other circles and i had i need to create an array of that so let me put the circles at point 5 and say this one around point 25 and this one might be 0 0.05 this is good but this is not good let me make it 0 0.2 yeah now it is okay now in our 2d videos i have told you you have options of in the transformations transforms you have option of rotate so if if i want to make a circular array of this i have to rotate initially i need to choose the center of rotation so this should be this particular line so 0.5 comma 0.5 say so this is the point around which this will rotate so it will make an circular array now i need to make with an interval of 45 degree so initially 45 then 90 then you will have 135 then 180 then 225 then 270 then we have 315 and ultimately 360 i keep the initial input object click on build uh, what is what is it showing you need to provide input object okay we have not selected the input object now yeah now this is done so this particular thing is done now this is a kind of if you if you see here the back side so this is the back side or you can see the projection so up till this point we have we are done with the projection now we have to extrude it okay so there is an option extrude so if you go to geometry right click on it you will get this option extrude now automatically your work plane will be chosen and entire work plane will be chosen by default but i need to extrude it selectively so what i do is i go to this drop down there is an option uh, faces i click here so initially let me take this annular section and say extrude it for up to say 0 0.5 0 0.25 let us make it so this is done so the first extrusion or extrude that is the tank kind so this is done now i right click on geometry take another extrude and again go to faces and choose those small circles you can see once you choose this your projection direction is being shown by this line so this is the projection direction so it will be projected along z direction so yeah so all the circles are chosen so let me make it 0.5 initially this one was 0.25 so i want to make the height of the pillars more than the height of the tank say i click on build all objects so you get this so this was a very simple example however from this video you can learn about work plane you can learn about projection and you can learn about extrude and obviously how to utilize how to choose this how to work with all those options all the things are clear now and in the next video i will be coming up with more complicated geometry so that your concept becomes more clear till then i will request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you